Today I'm in Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area and I'm starting a two-night backpacking trip at the Honey Creek Loop Trailhead. I'm headed west on Honey Creek Loop and hopefully camp somewhere tonight uh, near Honey Creek. Then tomorrow I'll do an out and back on the John Muir Trail toward the O&W Bridge. And then uh, again, not sure where I'm going to camp tomorrow night, but then on the third day I'm going to come back on the east side of the Honey Creek Loop Trail. The temperature is about 68 degrees and the low tonight is supposed to be about 45. Large hemlock trees that are still alive. Day two 
and I'm continuing on the uh, west side of the Honey Creek Loop Trail and I should be almost to the junction with the John Muir Trail. I had a really nice campsite last night at the confluence of two creeks. Got a little colder than the forecast. It was low was about 34 which was uh, supposed to be the low tonight so maybe the cold front's coming through a little bit ahead of the forecast. It's really been a nice trip so far. I've only seen I don't know uh, four day hikers yesterday and today I think I've seen about five day hikers but it's just another beautiful fantastic day. spring literally uh, coming right out of the ground. I'm about a tenth of a mile past that picnic table and a little downhill. Just happened to be going down the trail looking for water and found this little spring. I'm filling up with two liters of water and I'm going to go back up to that uh, picnic table and camp there for the night. The picnic table is pretty strange too. It's just some random picnic table out in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes you get pretty lucky. see these bluffs from my camp, so I followed a faint trail through the woods to a bluff that overlooks the O&W Bridge and 
the big south fork of the Cumberland River. Day three, and I'm headed back on the John Muir Trail, which I should mention is also part of the Shiltawi Trace Trail. The uh, Shiltawi Trace Trail is a long distance trail starting at uh, Moorhead, Kentucky, and continues uh, through the Daniel Boone National Forest, through uh, Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area, and ends south of the Honey Loop Creek Trail, Honey Creek Loop Trail at the Burnt Mill Bridge. This is the first time I've done this section of the John Muir Trail. In fact, uh, it's relatively new. The map I have, Trails Illustrated, which was, which was revised in 2013, doesn't even show this section of the John Muir Trail. Uh, last night was really, really nice campsite. Even though there wasn't water at the campsite, the uh, bluff overlook really made up for it. The low last night was about 36 degrees, and right now it's about 65. Just another beautiful spring day.
I'm almost back to the trailhead. This is the fourth time I've done this Honey Creek Loop. The last time was in 2007. And every time I do it, I'm just absolutely amazed with all the features that are packed into this loop. Creeks, waterfalls, rock bluffs, rock houses, squeezing through uh, rock crevices and even kind of uh, crawling through a cave at one point. It's absolutely amazing loop, but it's a popular loop, lots of day hikers. Uh, I saw uh, a couple backpacking today and a couple backpacking yesterday. Yesterday the couple was through hiking the Shiltowee Trace Trail and uh, they were finishing up today at Burnt Mill Bridge. Anyway, it's been a great trip. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.